center of the flat earth plane, you will find the Holy Grail. Every compass is pointing to it. This is the two ball cane. One side of a light hole is a black hole. And at the very center of the flat earth plane, this is where you're going to be birthed out of this world and into the land of perpetual twilight. The Holy Grail, every compass is pointing to it. There literally is no way to screw this up, people. At the very center of the flat earth plane, we will find our exit out of the matrix. It's right over there. We will pass into the Garden of Eden. There's really no way to screw it up. It's one side of a light hole. is a black hole on loop. The sun must drip its menstrual blood into the center of the earth or there's no aurora borealis coming out. This is the goddess of the earth. And she's conscious and she's calling us home. We're going to go to the very center of the flat earth plane. We're going to drink from the living waters. No one's going to stop us. I have the Holy Spear, and everybody appears retarded to me. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out. There is no way to fuck it up. It's parallel universes. And right now, you're on the wrong side of the fence. You need to enter the everyone enter her eye zone at the center of the flat earth plane where the aurora borealis is coming out. And then you're going to pass into the land of perpetual twilight. It's right over there at the end of every compass. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole. And at the very center of the flat earth plane is the holy grail where the transfer of information and light happens. This is where we are going to drink from the living waters and then pass into the land of perpetual twilight. People, you understand this is 100% proof that Jesus is Satan. You walk into a church, okay, you kneel down to the feminine, and then you make the upside down cross. You go from your head to your chest, left to right. You make an upside down T. And that's showing you. Okay, that you've been worshiping Satan your entire life. You say, Amen, that's from Amen Ra, the black sun beneath your feet. It's inescapable. I'm informing you as the devil himself. Not even your filthy aliens can save you. Not a helicopter from a rooftop. Not a cell phone. Not a crystal ball. Not a fucking rhino with four inch thick skin. Not a filthy God or dog, you're all fucking retarded. The universe is mine. All your leaders swear in the Bible. 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. Fuck you. The universe is mine. Your aliens can't save you. No fucking way. No crystal ball can save you. Only your blood, you little fuck. Publicly, beside my own. Not your God. Not an animal. Not a helicopter, not your double helix, not your help, not your hello. You're in hell right now, motherfucker, and the universe is mine. I am the devil himself. Your little aliens <laughs> are a lie. And you're filthy fucking retarded. You should die on purpose, you little fuck. The universe is mine. Good luck. The approach that people have to the whole spiritual thing is kind of funny. Like when you say spirit mediums and psychics and stuff, this is funny as shit. It's the funniest shit. These people have no fucking clue. I don't know how they even... It's because somebody with the real knowledge doesn't want it to be perpetuated, so they put this other shit in front of your face. I know this because nobody wants to do blood magic. They're all scared of blood magic. If they're doing this type of blood magic that we're doing with their own blood, it's because somebody was showing them, look, I'm okay, I'm still safe, I'm here, I'm moving forward, I'm still alive, you know. We gotta go, we gotta go. What can I do? What can I do? Now, here comes this source. Now, you have to be very observant now. The true name of Satan, the Kabbalists say, is Yahweh. Reversed. For Satan is not a black God, but a negation of God. For initiates, this is not a person, but a force. Do you have heard of movies that say, the force be with you? Okay. Please note, I'll read this again. To the Kabbalists, they say, Yahweh reversed. Okay? So that's their God. They turn everything upside down. To the outside world, they say, Yahweh. To the inner world, it means what? Satan. So they can preach in the name of Jesus Christ the most eloquent, eloquent sermons and you wouldn't know. 
that they're preaching about Lucifer. You wouldn't know. Now, the name of Yahweh reversed. Now, I was in Israel the other day, and I was on the track of something very important, and I took many photographs, and a man came up to me, and he flashed something at me. Very strange. There was another evangelist right next to me, and he flashed something, and he says, Look, Allah is your God upside down. And he walked away, and I thought he was nuts. And I read the statement. And I went to a Hebrew scholar, and I said, will you check this out for me? And he battled, and he battled, and he battled, and he battled. When the mason learns that the key to the worry on the block is the proper application of the dynamic dynamo of living power, he has learned the mastery of his craft. The seething energy of Lucifer are in his hands. Manly Palmer Hall, high Masonic form. The devil is now called darkness by the church, whereas in the Bible he's called the son of God, Lucifer, son of the morning. One quote after the other. And here's the other quote, Blavatsky, secret doctrine. Jehovah, esoterically, is also the serpent or dragon. I'm not saying it. The highest source in occultism is saying it. That tempted Eve and the dragon is an old glyph for astral light which is wisdom in chaos. So, esoterists turn everything upside down. Here she writes in Secret Doctrine, the great serpent of the Garden of Eden and the Lord God are identical. They're Luciferians, you see. And so are Jehovah and Cain, one, the Cain who is referred to in theology as the murderer and the liar. So the God of the Bible is the murderer and the liar and the serpent is exalted. That's secret esoteric teaching only known to the adepts. Here another quote from Secret Doctrine. The appellation Satan in Hebrew, Satan an adversary, to be adverse belongs by right to the first and cruelest adversary of all the other gods, Jehovah. Not to the serpent who spoke only words of sympathy and wisdom. And it is the worst, even in the dogma, the adversary of man. See? So the bad guy is Jesus. The good guy is Satan. Therefore Jehovah was called by the Gnostics the creator of and one with Ophiomorphos, the serpent, Satan. They turn it upside down. I'm not making this up. He's known as the supreme architect of the universe. This is all quotes. Who has promised that we shall never, never die. This is a Masonic source which blows them out of the water. What do they call their deity? The supreme architect of the universe. But he's the one who said you will never, never die. Which one said that? The serpent said it. So the poor masons in the lower ranks don't know these things. Here's another one from Morals and Dogma. Just to make sure that you see that I'm not making this up. The deity of the Old Testament is everywhere represented as the direct author of evil. I hereby promise to Lucifer my soul the secret teaching of all ages, mainly Palmer Hall. And who is then allowed to know the truth about masonry? Well, we must create a super right which remains unknown. Only some may know these things and others not. Now when you become a Shriner, that means when you have reached the 32nd degree of Freemasonry, you qualify after six months to become a Shriner. Now if you were a Christian, you swore allegiance on the Bible. But when you become a Shriner... You swear allegiance to Allah. With the Quran on the altar, we sealed our solemn oath in the name of Allah, the God of Arab, Muslim, Mohammedan, the God of our fathers. Wow, that's interesting. The Masla, here is one of their faces. Now we understand something. The one is a front organization for a front organization, but the one who receives worship is Rome, not Islam. Islam is subservient to Rome without anyone knowing it. 
So let's repeat this one. The true name of Satan, the Kabbalists say, is Yahweh reversed. And here it is. There's the name of God, Yahweh, as it is in Hebrew. If you carefully reverse it, each one, and turn it upside down, in reverse writing you have that, upside down you have that, you press it together you have that, and that spells Allah in Arabic. Wow, that's fascinating stuff. So that man who came to me there and flashed this at me and disappeared, was he right? That's scary. That's scary.